Okay, let me know when you're ready. Now, there's another kind of cool um, tool here, a method that I've seen used very effectively recently. And actually, it's a group that's located here in Indianapolis um, called Connected. Um, and basically, what they've done is they've automated a way of getting LinkedIn connections to you. So you specify what kind of demographic you're looking for, and it, it mines your second and third and beyond group that are part of your LinkedIn profile. And it automatically reaches out, you know, hey, Will, you know, I'd be very interested in getting connected with you on LinkedIn. You know, would you connect to me and we could discuss, you know, blah, 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 you know, whatever it might be. And it looks like a personal message and a lot of people will say, sure, I'd love to connect with you. What's going on? And, you, and the system will automatically respond to them with certain information, including what you're up to and what you're going to. And if, when, you, when they connect to you and engage with them, you can then personally engage with them. But meantime, it's handled that process, even if it takes them, you know, a month to get back and say, oh, okay, sure, I'll follow you. I mean, you, you've essentially automated the process of connecting them to you through LinkedIn. Um, and then you can message them directly. Um, it, it seems to be um, the, the kind of response rate you get is in the 20s. So, you know, you send out 100 requests and you're probably going to get 20 or 25 um, connections. And that's spectacular. If you send out emails, for instance, if you got an email list of, of, I don't know, vice presidents or something to send them to send attempts to contact to, you're going to get 2%, 1%, and, and you're going to have a hard time because everyone is so overwhelmed with data, right? Um, a lot of other methods you have probably aren't going to be so effective um, because they're not really used for this purpose. Right? You know, there's some text marketing and some other things. It's probably not going to work very well for our kind of industry. But this could be amazingly useful. And the, the, the rate of getting connections is pretty high. So And people will engage in a, in a constructive communication with you. Um, so anyway, you could go to www.democonnected.com and, and take a look at it. They're growing like leaps and bounds around here, so impressive. Um, email lists. So this is an area that um, can be very effective also for our type of industry. Um, you need to find a way to capture when someone comes to your website, you can and essentially offer to have them join your mailing list and get information. So basically, often the way to do this is with a um, is with a funnel type page, something that offers them something free, or will send them a you know a short white paper or something that's specifically of interest around your particular skill or something that you've offered, something that might seem valuable or useful to a customer. Or a potential customer that would entice them to give you their email address and agree to get on your mailing list. So this is something tools like Mailchimp and there's a bunch of them other, other ones out there um, that you can use for doing that sort of thing. And you if you set up this communication, sometimes people you know initially they're not ready to engage with you. They're not sure that they found you through searching and they found this page about what you're doing. And they're kind of curious. And after a little while, they're like, hey, I should engage with this guy, right? Especially if they're getting a regular, um, um, useful newsletter from you. Um, Calendly, this is another thing. Instead of just forcing them to make a phone call to you, maybe, you're, maybe your head's down working, you're not going to answer, or maybe you never answer your cell phone because nobody does these days because um, we're overwhelmed with information. So, um, Calendly, many of you have already seen this, but it can automatically um, you can set aside some times, you know, whether they're half an hour appointments or 15 minutes or an hour or whatever. You can set up some time aside on your schedule and uh, they can come in and automatically pick a time to have a call with you. Um, and so it's it makes it very easy instead of, you know, so when someone comes in and is actually interested, you can you can have the call of action and actually schedule a phone call. Uh, time with them, um, and this can be very effective in, in converting someone to, you know, or finding a new opportunity, maybe 
the mosque otherwise it took them more effort to accomplish right um supercharge your outreach you can buy create or acquire mailing lists right so this is a little bit um you know, gotta think about who exactly you're trying to mail and this is a struggle you know linkedin these days is one pretty good way but there are ways to find mailing lists um that you might have to purchase that would be um usable for email or for other kinds of con direct contact outreach. You can even do direct letters and postcards or emails or text messages or social media ads that can be tracked immediately. And there's a service here that I suggested, directmail.io, that could help you actually implement that, that procedure. Um, um, I, and I've already talked a whole bunch about funnels, dedicated web pages to funnel prospects to you, a page that offers a free informational download of some kind, right? So um, these can all be very useful ways to create some kind of a flow of prospective clients, right? Um, and that's kind of what you're looking for, some way to, to tee up people who volunteer to be your customers instead of having to, um, you know, hunt and hunt and hunt. You're looking for a school of fish or you're looking for a fish that volunteers, um, not just have to hunt them all over the place and grab them with your bare hands or something, you know? So um, I guess it's sort of a way of thinking. Next page, please. All right. So here's another thing. It's, we all know about uh, CRMs, and, you know, customer relationship management systems, and there's a bunch of them out there. Um, and some of these are big versions of things like MailChimp, you know, which just handles email. And some of these other things also handle that sort of thing, but Salesforce and HubSpot, um, but are essentially um, mainly um, CRM types of systems. And so they allow you to keep track of all those leads and prospects and, and follow-ups and, and communication details and so if you've got an ultimately if you have more than one salesperson you can figure out what no heck did we tell this guy last month and talk to him did we move along in the process right um and what in the world you know what was the proposal we sent them and they were supposed to get back to us by the 15th but they didn't and, you know so all of this sort sorts of things um crms you know finding a crm that's that handles the level of deal flow that you're having um may be very inexpensive at the level that many of us consultants are at but even as you grow this could be a very useful thing and the expense will grow as your demand grows and there's also something called workflow automation and quite often the crm is is built into it or it's a part of it right helps you not to drop the ball and so i selected i suggested a couple um podio and pipe drive and some of these are they have a database back end of course similar to what the crms do and you know, but many of these also have some additional automatic um, um, workflow automation you can add. In other words, when you create a new project, automatically certain people in your organization get tasks to do certain things. And then when they finish those things, the people who review those things get those, get those. And then before the, you know, the proposal goes out to the customers, the, the senior person reviews it. And, you, you know, I can see this if you were a, a small um engineering firm or something like that you want to make sure that you know maybe some of you've got some younger newer guys that are doing some of the initial work but you want to make sure the senior guys review them before they go out the door and and cause you problems because they weren't done right um i've seen this happen before where the, the senior guys get busy and they don't review something and whoa it went out and now it's wrong Right? Not, not good. So part of the problem is making sure that you get through all the steps of your standard operating procedures. And these may be pretty simple, but the point is to improve the quality of your overall operation by making sure that the I's got dotted and the T's got crossed um, so that your customers are pleased with the results. Um, and so this also goes to how do you keep a, a, a group of people working together? And this could be a group inside your company, or it could include, be a group that's that's a part of several companies, maybe part of your customer and part of you, and, and you know maybe even some vendors and other people that keep all together. You can use some tools like Basecamp three, Slack, and Trello, right? If you're if you've done software engineering where you're doing um, 
uh, um, agile development. You might use Trello and you're going to see how these sort of things work together. Slack is often used in, in more broad environments. Basecamp some, has some of the advantages of both, I think. It's a very interesting tool. Next page. So the other side is administrative and business systemization and efficiency. So one of the tools I would suggest you look into is something called Harvest. And there's a, a tool that goes along with it called Forecast. So um, of all the ones that I've looked at, you know, you often are in a situation as a consultant where you've got to track your hours and you want to put together an invoice that represents what did you spend your time doing? You know, three hours doing this and four hours doing that, 1.5 hours doing this. And, you know, we traveled here and it cost this much and you want to have sort of a nice itemized invoice. Well, Harvest will help you put together, put that together, not only tracking your hours for billing, but maybe also for payroll. Um, it can, it can help you put together quotes so that it actually can send the quote out to your customer and they can approve it. And it'll, it actually connects then directly to QuickBooks and it'll put that quote into QuickBooks for you. And then um, as you track your progress, you can send invoices against this project and the invoices go out. When payment comes in, you can mark them paid and they're automatically marked in QuickBooks. Oh, makes it so much easier, right? Um, you can track your budgets and see how far you along you are. Are you under budget? Are you over budget? Are you how far along are you? You, you actually put the basic um, work breakdown structure into the thing, and as you as you charge hours against pieces and parts of the work breakdown structure, it'll, it'll just give you really simple. I mean, I've seen tools that make this so much more complex. Anyway, this is just one I found. You may have some that you like better that you use, but this kind of an idea helps you keep track of, you know, if you're trying to understand what your earned value is on a project, you're trying to understand how, you know, you know, whether you're in trouble here because you're not going to get done on time, or you're trying to figure out if you're, if it's going to cost you too much money, or, you know, you, hopefully you can start to see what's happening early um, by this. Forecast is a tool that helps you if you have multiple resources. Let's say you have you know, there's you have a small group of you, two or three or four people, and you're trying to do two or three projects simultaneously. You want to know who's going to be working on which project when. Forecast helps you plan that. So you you know who is going to be scheduled to do which part of, which, of projects when, right? Um, and, and it integrates with, with Harvest, which is very helpful. So, of course, you're going to need to keep track of your, your books. QuickBooks Online is a pretty darn easy way to do it for the size and scale of, of our consulting businesses. It's about the straightforward thing to do. In addition, since it's online, your bookkeeper doesn't need to come to your office or your house or anything else, obviously. You can, um, they can, in fact, the way we've set this up in some of my companies, along with Bill.com, is we're sort of paperless. So we, we scan, you know, with your phones, you know, any, any, receipt or invoice that we have or something that comes in an email, we can just forward it into bill.com. Um, the bookkeeper will sort of triage it, make sure it's, it, it bill.com actually tries to scan the invoice and pick the right accounting codes and that sort of thing. Once it's been trained a few times, it can pretty much do that perfectly. The bookkeeper can make sure it did it right, entered all the numbers properly. But, and then it goes in, if it's an accounts payable, it'll show up as, something that needs approval. You can mark it, if you have several people that are approving things, they can be approved. You can have one person that decides which thing to pay when, so you can make sure the bank account stays positive. You can make some um, judgments as to which things get paid in what order, which is sometimes very helpful in a business where you have several people doing things and everybody's maybe got a debit card or something, that can be a real disaster if, you, you know, if, if you're not keeping track very carefully. 